for a very long time, Flash, including myself, have wanted a Flash game, official Flash game, to happen. And I don't think the right time has happened until recently with the stubby show ending, the movie coming out, even though the movie didn't do that great, it still did happen. <laughs> and the Flash kind of, you know, we don't have a lot of Flash projects right now. I think it's really perfect time for a Flash video game to either A, happen, or B, start development on. Because, again, we're running on fumes here of Flash content that we have. And, I mean, we have like so many superhero games coming out over the next few years. We have uh, Spider-Man 2 by Insomniac for PS5. Uh, Wolverine. Captain America game, Wolverine game. Um, those are Marvel, but... <laughs> I mean, the fact that Marvel has like four games coming out a year and DC has like, what, one a year, if that? I mean, we need to be doing something here. Since that's called Kill the Justice League is coming out, I think, what, next year now? It got pushed back or something. And yeah, the Flash is in that, but, like, where, where's that game going to end up? Are they going to kill him off? Now, if Rocksteady made a Flash game, uh, they would do it justice. I mean, it, <laughs> they did Batman just for three games straight. I think they can handle the Flash. They were going to do Superman, but canned it. I don't blame them. The main reason why a Flash game is so tricky to make... It's because of how fast he can go, right? Like, if they were to make him fast and speed of light in the first game, you need a massive city. And this main city, assuming it's Barry Allen, which I would hope is Barry Allen for me, personally, would be Central City. Now, if it's Wally West, for example, it would be Keystone. Now, if this is Rock Studies Flash that we're talking about, I believe it's Barry Allen. I don't think they've shown any indication that it's Wally. Besides, like, some Easter eggs here and there of, like, Kid Flash and Keystone or maybe Wally and Keystone. But I do think the Flash and Rock City's Arkhamverse is Barry Allen. So that's why I'm going to kind of just focus on Barry Allen for a bit here. I know that Wally is the fastest beast in the comics. But in the show, Barry's the fastest. In the 90s show, Barry's the fastest. In the movie, Barry's the fastest. Like, you know, I I know everyone wants Ginger Wally. I, I get it. I understand it. But Barry Allen is my Flash. Period. Grant is my Flash. John is my Flash. We don't talk about Ezra Miller. But <laughs> I love Barry Allen. I love the Flash being Barry Allen. I love Wally, but I love Barry more. And this being the first ever legitimate Flash game, besides that canceled one, which featured Wally as the Flash... I would prefer the first ever Flash game, assuming it's good, to be about Barry. In the second game, like, you could bring in Wally and have both them being the Flashes, like we have for Spider-Man 2 right now, for Insomniac Spider-Man, where we have Peter and Miles both being Spider-Mans at the same time, you can place both of them. And who knows if there's a third game or not, what happened there, one of them gets killed off, assuming that'd be Peter, and then Miles is the main Spider-Man for that universe. You could do that for the Flash. In the first game, you introduce Wally West, Ginger Wally West. You give him super speed somehow, some way, through and like a particle, particle star explosion or something, I don't know. And then the second game, you can play as both Barry and Wally. And then the third game, you kill Barry off. You know, on some level. <laughs> but that's how you can really do it. And, you know, for Barry's speeds, I mean, just amp it a little bit. You know, if you're doing Barry Allen, which I think would be the best bet, because Central City is such a huge city, even in the comics, such a huge city. And I mean, Central City Show, it covered like 14 million people. That's a giant city. That's more than most cities in the actual world. Whether or not that's, <laughs> that's lazy writing, but 14 million people is a lot. I mean, that's a fraction of the country's population alone. And so... You know what I mean? It's a it's a giant city. And it would be more than enough to have Barry be able to move faster than the speed of light if they make the city big enough. Bigger than Batman Arkham Knight. Well, maybe not Batman Arkham Knight, but in Sonic the Spider-Man first game, make that city like two times bigger. And you can have a Flash game. Easily. Maybe 
a little bit bigger than Ben Merkham Knight's whole world. Because you had three different parts of Gotham you could go to. But, you know. I mean, you give Barry the option, or the Flash the option, whether it's Barry or Wally, to slow down time, go in the Flash time, for example, and you can troll it easily. Or allow, like, when you're running at super speeds, for Barry to jump over or slide under whatever he's going to run into that we just naturally stop running. Because that's what he would do. And, I mean, you could do so many things with this. I mean, you could bring in different costumes from over the years, like New 52 Flash, the W's Flash, John's Flash. Uh, if they really wanted to, Ezra's Flash, you could do all that. They could do the Flashpoint Paradox animated Flash. Both those suits that we got, the one throughout the entire movie and the one at the end. They could do, you know, streamlined, just red suit, gold boots, gold wrists, gold belt, gold earpieces, no gold lines or anything. They could do pull-ups. They could do a reverse flash type flash suit. I mean, they could do a black and gold suit like W got or behind the scenes Scott. I mean, there are so many things they can do for fan service for Flash fans just through that alone. Now, for the main story, I think the main story should feature Eobar Thawne. That's the, if it's Barry Allen. If it's Barry Allen, the main story should feature Eobar Thawne. That would be, like, my dream. Because the Flash movie, it, it didn't know... They don't know what the hell they were doing with that movie. I don't care what anyone says... It, the further of Flash movie should have involved Eobar Thawne. And they just wrote him off like he's nothing, pretty much. Or like He didn't even exist. It was just a problem. Because if they ever introduced Eobar Thawne in a DCU, the tension between Barry and Thawne will be literally nothing. Because there's no emotional impact, right? The reason CW's Barry and CW's Thawne work so well when they're with each other in scenes... It's because that rivalry goes all the way back to when Barry was 11 years old and when Thawne first became a speedster centuries from now. So, <coughs> sorry. So, when they erase that, what's the point? Now, if this, you know, again, there's nothing rumored or anything. I'm just kind of talking about this because I want to get my opinions about it. I also want to hear what you guys have to say as well because this it is interesting to hear different opinions. You know, there's that group of people that want to get into happen. This game, there's a group that wants going to happen, but at the same time doesn't because it would be so, quote-unquote, easy to do. So a Superman game. Now, you can argue, we have this debate whether Superman is more powerful than The Flash and what iteration we're talking about here, but a Superman game is like a Flash game, okay? You need powerful villains. You need villains that can match Superman's power to make the game even long worth it and a giant city so you don't just fly around and for like one minute and you're at the other end of the city. The same with the Flash. And instead of flying, it's running. Instead of aliens, it's muddy humans. Or speedsters. Right? We need that in this game. As, if it ever does happen. And if it does happen, I really hope that Roxy is the one to make it and not W against Montreal. Because I don't even know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> I mean, do they really know? I mean, look what happened with Gotham Knights or Arkham Origins or, you know, stuff like that. WB Games Montreal, when it comes to DC, I don't know about other games outside of DC, for them at least. But when it comes to DC and WB Games Montreal, they're not the brightest. <laughs> and they, you know, they'll do anything to make a game think that it works, but it really doesn't. And while Gotham Knights is not that much of a failure compared to Arkham Origins for most people, it wasn't that great of a game either. So, and I know that there's a rumor going around that they are working on a Superman game. Um, we know that James Gunn wants Superman game to happen. Uh, you know, which is kind of 50-50 on what that'll be like. But, I mean, we've had Superman game before. And it could be the bias part of me because I am a huge fan of Flash and I want a Flash game really bad. I've won one for <laughs> over a decade. I mean, this is the time to do it. You have the outlet. You have 
the accountability to make a Flash game that's similar to the Simon Experiment first game, where it's this huge open world, random crimes happen in the city, you have to go to them, you can help the city out, you can take down the big bads, you can introduce mighty humans, a way to make more speedsters happen. It can work. You have the world of the Flash that's been going on for over 80 years. Maybe 90. I don't know how long the Flash has been around. 80, 90, somewhere around there. You have options. Right? Superman's been around for way longer than Flash in the comics. You have options to go down that route of, oh, there's more aliens now. Superman has, you know, reason to do something, right? Or Doomsday is created. Or I, I guess we're kind of getting sick of Doomsday. I mean, he's in like every duration now, which makes sense. But like, it's like Flashpoint, you know? I don't think Flashpoint should be done <laughs> ever again. I, I love Flashpoint. But the movie ruined it. I mean, Flashpoint is supposed to be like a, you know, really emotional, heart-touching moment for Barry. And then they just botched it throughout the entire film. And it was not Flashpoint. Um, so if the games, if they ever raised like a Flash trilogy for the video games, I would assume that either A, Flashpoint would be done, like if it's a rock steady version. Because um, I know there were rumors that like, the game would set up, I think it was Barry, they said, or the Flash would create a Flashpoint where no one died during the Brainiac Invasion meeting. Everyone did die in that game. And it would reset the timeline to before the events of Arkham City, which I find kind of ridiculous. But, because, I mean, that's kind of just like, oh, Arkham City and Arkham Knight don't matter anymore. Which is, to me, stupid. But then again, similar to the comics, right? When they did Flashpoint in the comics for the first time, they were pretty much erasing everything that happened up to that point. And in some of show, as much as I love the show, it did botch Flashpoint. I mean, they didn't do exactly all that. And I know that everything was erased and things were changed, but not, I think, as much as people wanted. The Flash movie literally changed pretty much everything that we know of right now. So... If Rockstar's going down the route of, okay, Suicide Squad, Kill Justice comes out, everyone dies except Barry, he goes back in time, changes the entire timeline, makes a flashpoint. The first of our next game connected to this universe that Rockstar is setting up is the Flash. Great. I'm all for it. As long as it's open world, it makes sense, the story works, and you can have a legitimate good Flash game. Like you have for three Batman games back to back for several years. I mean, it needs to happen. I mean, we have the catalyst for it. We have the time for it. We won't take it. Roxanne can make an amazing Flash game. You have a studio right there. I don't want W Games Montreal to make it. <laughs> I think Roxley can easily make a good Flash can make it work the way that no other studio could. Besides Insomniac. But Insomniac's Marvel, so. But Roxley could legitimately make, like, the best group of DC movies, or pff, movies, DC video games ever done. And if, you know, James Gunn, Peter Saffron give them that chance, it's gonna be incredible. So, I wouldn't say if you are hoping for a Flash game to happen... Don't stop hoping for it. It may take several years. Maybe even another decade or two. But I would definitively say... Within the next... I would hope... Five to ten years. I could be sitting here right now... Saying... There's a Flash game. Here's a trailer. And here's a breakdown of it. That is what I want to say in the next five to ten years. I would be generally surprised if it's earlier... And you can come back to this video and watch it and hear me say that and comment down below. God, you're an idiot. You're so wrong. Or you can be like, God, you were so right. Five to ten years later, here we are at the Flash game. That would be incredible. And I hope that happens because I'm sick of waiting. And I think a lot of you are as well. For those who do play games, for those who love the Flash, who love DC content, Monster Man game, Monster Flash game like I do. 
This is the time. This is the time to start if you haven't already. Roxy, WB, I doubt you're even, anyone from there is even watching this, but pff, you know what I mean. This is the time to start it. This is the time to get something started so you can, down the line, compete with Marvel, compete with other series that are making big top tier games. The Flash is that character to do it, and Superman is that character to do it. You had the catalyst, just do it already. It ain't that hard. It really isn't. So, <laughs> it would be nice if it happened. And hold out hope for it. But I wouldn't, you know, hold out and like hope for like, oh, it'll happen in the next few years. Give it like five to ten years. And I'm willing to bet everything that a like, Flash game will either A, be announced within that time period... Or B, will have already come out within that time period. Five to ten years. Because of the way that The Flash has grown over the last decade alone. I'm kind of surprised that WB hasn't ridden off of that yet. But look at the Spider-Man games. I mean, we went years without a Spider-Man game. And then they come out with the next Spider-Man and here we are. With two Spy three Spider-Man games over the last four years alone. Right? When they get the Flash going, if they do a trilogy behind it, I mean, it's going to just kickstart so much for DC. And W Games Montreal and whoever the hell de you know, develops, whether it's Rock City or not, it can truly, truly work. So we need to consider that when looking at it. Five to ten years, give it, and we should have one. Or it should, one should be announced by then. I'm willing to bet everything on that. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching the video. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.